Hey guys, welcome to another video, and today is the first video that we'll be going over axial osteology. Now, this is the last section of the osteology chapters, and this is by far the most complex of the three osteology sections. Axial osteology is difficult because the bones are really irregular, complex, and some of the landmarks are difficult to see. And because of that, I don't want to overcomplicate these videos. So in this video, I am only going over the names of the bones. And then in later videos, I'll be going over the landmarks of each bone individually. But for now, in this video, I'll only be going over the names of the bones of the head. So to begin, we have this image, and obviously we can see the bones of the head. And the most obvious one, at least in my opinion, is this one right here, which is the frontal bone. Another obvious and large bone is the one right here that we call our jaw. This bone is called the mandible. It's not the mandible bone, it's just the mandible. We have a pair of bones right here, and I'm just going to draw the outline of it. So we have one bone right here, and then we have its paired bone right alongside of it. So they meet in the center at the mid-sagittal plane, and this bone is called the maxilla. Right above where what we would call the nose, we have two small little bones right here, right where the bridge of the nose would be. These paired bones are called nasal bones. Moving on, we have another bone that's found right here. And in layman's terms, we call it our cheekbone. But this bone, and it's paired one over here on this side, these bones are called zygomatic bones. Now there are a few bones that we can see through the bony orbit. The bony orbit is this space right here. And we could see that more posteriorly, there are more bones that we can identify. This bone, or this portion of the bone right here, as well as on this side, that is part of the sphenoid bone. And we'll be able to see more of the sphenoid bone once we change images. Inside the nasal cavity, we have two small bones on the lateral aspect of the cavity, and it's inferior. These small little bony projections are called inferior nasal concha. Awesome. And for the most part, those are all the bones we can see on the anterior aspect. So let's go ahead and switch images. Again, we can see the frontal bone, the mandible, maxilla. Right here, we can see the nasal bone. Now this small bone right here, right in the corner of your eye, that's called the lacrimal bone. Lacrimal means tear. So this is the bone right where you cry or where your tears come out. Again right here, we have our zygomatic bone. Now right here you can kind of see an outline of another bone that's tucked away in the bony orbit. This one right here is called your ethmoid bone. This bone right here that has this odd shape, 
We already mentioned it before, but this is a different view of it. This is our sphenoid bone. One of the larger bones found around the brain is this bone right here. And it goes all the way down. Like that. This is our temporal bone. The bone just superior to the temporal bone, which can be seen here. This is our parietal bone. And I forgot to mention the temporal bone and the parietal bone are both paired, so there's one on the contralateral side of the skull. On the most posterior aspect of the skull, we have the occipital bone. That's the very back of the head. Now there's a bone that's not part of the bones of the skull, but is part of the bones of the head, is this one down here. This is called your hyoid bone. Now those are most of the bones of the head that we can see on this lateral view. Let's go ahead and change our image again. Again to review, this bone up front, on the anterior most portion, is our frontal bone. We have our paired parietal bones. And the most posterior is our occipital bone. Awesome. And that's pretty much it as far as all the bones that we can see of the head in this view. So let's go ahead and move on to the next image. Now apart from the occipital bone here, and both parietal bones here, we can see a small portion on both sides of the temporal bone. as well as the mandible. Good, we can move on. Now this image is really nice because it shows several different bones. Let's go ahead and address the obvious ones. Of course, we have our frontal bone. Here's a nasal bone. Here's a maxilla. Here's our lacrimal bone. Let's see if I can write it small enough. Lacrimal bone. We have zygomatic bone. Right here. As well as right here. We have our sphenoid bone. We have our temporal bone. This bone right here is an excellent view of our ethmoid bone. Now again, here's the maxilla and the maxilla actually goes a little bit back into the bony orbit and then comes out here along the zygomatic bone. There's a bone right here. You can partially see that I'm coloring in. That bone is called the vomer. And let's go ahead and switch images so we can have a better view of the vomer. Now in this image I have removed the right maxilla and it opens up and it shows us a lot more bones that we couldn't see previously. This is the vomer that I just barely mentioned. Vomer.
number. Now there's actually one button we haven't mentioned yet and it helps make up the roof of your mouth. And it's this bone that I'm drawing out in blue. And it's tucked away behind the maxilla. And this bone right here is called the palatine bone. And again, just a quick review, we have our zygomatic bone, frontal bone, nasal bone, lacrimal bone, we have our sphenoid bone, maxilla, zygomatic on this side, temporal bone, this area right here, as well as this part right here, ethmoid bone, and those are most of the bones of the head. We just have three more pairs that we have left, and let me show them to you. These bones are called auditory ossicles, and these bones allow us to hear. They're found in the middle ear, and they have pretty unique names, and I think they're really cool. Starting with this one, this bone right here is called the malleus. This bone is the second one. It's called the incus. And the third one is the stapes. Each one of these is found on each side of the head and each middle ear. And these again are called auditory ossicles. And those are all the bones found in the head. In later videos, I'm going to be going over landmarks found in each of one of these bones. But I'm just wanting to really simplify this because students get really confused. So I just thought we would go over the names of the bones first. And then we'll go over the landmarks. Hope this video was educational and helpful. And I'll see you guys later.